they're legit someone signed them whether oh, or not absolutely. somebody faked it or not is that psycho t oh my god all right one two three four five what is going on everyone today i'm making a road trip i'm gonna be buying some sports cards from a contact that i bought from years ago he and i've done a few deals together and he's got some football basketball baseball pretty good variety of stuff and we did a facetime call already so i have a pretty good idea of what's there we've agreed on 500 dollars. i just want to kind of see it in person and put hands on it to make sure it's still a good deal all right let's do this what's going on man long time no see yes sir likewise how you been pretty good how've you been man Staying busy as always, man. Yes, Staying so busy. Got all this right here. Okay. Got some up here as well. You just got the thing loaded, don't you? Yes, sir. How do you like your Camaro? It's all right. Yeah. How long yeah, have you had it? I've had it for like three, three years. Have you? Yes, sir. I'm sure it's fun to drive. Oh, it is, man. It is. All right. So I don't know if you just want me to exchange it from vehicle to vehicle. You can look as we go. Or... Yeah, we can do that, man. It's always hard seeing over like a FaceTime no, call, but man. Cunha. Are you a big baseball guy? Uh, kind of, sort of. Oh, yeah? yeah Which is ball. your biggest of the three? Probably football. Football? Yeah. Who's right, like, football. who's the guy? Does everybody want, uh, what's his name for the Texans now? CJ? Oh, yep, CJ Stroud, yes, sir. What's, the, what's going on with that? Is, um, is he going to be in Panini? I heard some rumblings that... I'm not too sure. I heard Panini's going to go away with... Football? Well, yeah, supposedly, like they. I heard they lost the rights, but then yeah, that's um, what it was. They lost the somebody rights. stepped in. Um, sure, man, I, don't I don't either. The mix-up is just crazy. Yeah, I, don't, I don't quite understand it, to be honest with you. I don't either. Yeah, I'm a huge baseball guy, so it's... You're a Reds fan? Oh, yeah, I love the Reds. Yeah, I'm a big Ellie guy. Oh, my God, he's amazing. But yeah, this guy flamed out. I remember yeah, when we yeah. traded him to the Mariners. <laughs> it happens, you know. Like, I always tell people when they're spending this money on... Car on um, cars, or if they uh, if they if they pull something and it's hot, I'm like, if it's going for big money, sell it now. You have to, man. Because the um, the chances of that player um, being better than you know Mike Trout or whoever Absolutely. is just so low. So rare. Yeah. So rare. Like what happens is these guys come up and then they turn into you know good everyday players, which none of us could do. Yeah. But then people are like, oh, they're a bust or whatever. Like there's just such a long list of like Alec Boehm, Bryson Stott, like. All right, just because well, they're not well, just because they're not Hall of Fame guys doesn't mean yeah, they're busts. I mean, uh -uh. Because you just because you lose money on that ten thousand dollars you spent on a rookie <laughs> card doesn't mean he's a bust. Absolutely, it's nuts. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Sounds like a appreciate plan. it, man. Thanks, Nathan. Absolutely, brother. I'll just take a quick peek as we're. Yeah, a lot of patch cars and stuff. Yes, sir. A lot of football. Yeah. Would you say it's primarily football? Um, you put that underneath this. Kind of vintage as well. Yeah. Uh, there's some vintage in there, but I'd say yeah, pri primarily football. A lot of it's you know some. Of the, I used to do a crap ton of breaks, man. Did you really? Oh my gosh, man! I was racking up. Who was your team? Who were you trying to go for? Um, you know whoever sold the most. Uh, Back when I was doing breaks, the 49ers, Brock Purdy, man, is who I was buying up. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff like that. Just various rookies, you know what I mean? Probably some Burrow in there. Stuff like that. Kevin Hogan. I remember him. There's a variety of stuff for sure. Who's the hot basketball guy? Um, there's quite a few, honestly, man. Wimby? Jalen Brunson? He's kind of taken over. I know everybody wants to. Was it Wimby? Yeah, Wimby Yama. Uh, I can't really think of any of them. Oh, Chet Holmgren. Chet Holmgren? Yeah, he's pretty solid. I watch like hardly any NBA, so I really don't know much at all about 
I know a lot about baseball. I know a little bit about football, and I know nothing about. I'm not impressed by the Jackson holiday, man. It's way too early. His first moments, you know, they're going for close to fifteen hundred two grand. He's only. It's, 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 it's way too out. early. It's been like two weeks. <laughs> I know, it's, man. But still. This is what I try to tell people. All right, I'm gonna give you some perspective. You're a football guy, right? Absolutely. There's 17 games in a football season. There's 162 games in a baseball that season. That's true. All that right, true. so let's say that one football game is the equivalent of about 10 baseball games as far as like true. percentage of the calendar. That's a good point. So they play a crap. Zone. Yes, Holiday hasn't looked great, but that would be like saying a QB has looked like crap through six quarters. That is true. Essentially. Man. So like look at big picture. That's true. And now by the end that of the year if he's if he's still batting like 150, all right, maybe, but it just oh, takes too point. long. Random assortment. Okay. And, uh, and this guy. Oh, man. That don't look very good, but. <laughs> yeah. you know I think we all have boxes like that. You know how it is, man. It's cool, Darnold. Patch. That's Savvy. That was my man there for a little while. Darnold was your guy? Yes, sir. For whatever reason. All right, there's that uh, jersey. Billy Shaw. That's cool, man. Yep. Was he a receiver? I have absolutely. Lineman? 66. Uh, oh, lineman or something like that. For the uh, Bills? Yeah, something like that. Nice. Then you got a little random assortment of cards. And then another random assortment of cards. Okay. Did you want to take a picture or uh, look at that picture? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Charizard. Yeah, I think this was one of the boxes that we went through when we were doing our FaceTime on some steak in. Oh God, Wander. <laughs> Chubba Hubbard. He's a chase rookie. Just chilling. <laughs> right? Luke Altmeyer. I haven't seen any of the Bowman football yet. I'm glad that they're making it, man. Tops, Tops makes it way better for the product than, uh, than uh, Panini does. Panini is just complete junk quality control. Really is. is that is that Psycho T? Oh my God, Tyler Hansbro. I'm a big fan of him, believe it or not. Man. Is that his nickname, Psycho T? Didn't he have a nickname, something like that? It might have been something like that, man. He's uh, Cause he, South, he had a North screw Carolina, loose. South Carolina, yeah. Like that. Oh, that's a cool one. He was solid, man. Yeah, he was. Um, he was an He would boxer. mess with people, man. He was he was a wild one. Bo Nix. Yep. Jordan Addison. Isaiah Jackson. It's cool, Nolan Ryan. You got a couple of those, don't you? Yeah, you had five yeah, and six, right? Out of 10, yeah. yeah, that's a cool oh, one. Immaculate. A sweet card. That's a uh, Genesis. Genesis, thank yes, you. Sir, I love those cards. Yeah, I've been out of the game for too long that I well, don't I remember. Agree. I know he was pretty highly sought after. Um, yeah, he's, he's Anthony like Richardson. He's trying to slowly go back up. Just because he hasn't played that much yet, really, has he? Not really, no. He ended up getting hurt like the first game or something. So it's the Fab Five, but it's got the, the Jawad Howard, uh, Jalen Rose, and Chris Weber autos. That is cool. it's got the semifinals ticket. Where'd you get this? Uh, my dad bought it at an auction, like yeah? an online auction. That stinks is uh, kind of fading and it doesn't have the smear a little bit. The verification or whatever it is right. out there, which sucks. So what do you need for it? I'd, I'd do fifty on it. Fifty dude. bucks? Yeah. You mind if I take it out? Absolutely. Every once in a while they do photocopies of uh no, signatures. Not. But those look pretty darn good to me as far as at least actual being ink. No, I'm serious. I understand 100%. It's stuck to the glass. Thank God. 
Oh yeah, those. Yeah, those, those are definitely. Yeah. yeah, they're legit. Someone signed them, oh, whether absolutely. or not somebody faked it or not. Yeah, TBD, but tell. I can always pay to get it sent off. Absolutely. I've looked at enough signatures over the years when like it's a stamp or it's a photocopy like I oh, tell I you, imagine, like, man. oh man I could imagine and I, I go to these shows there. and they're like trying to sell and I'm like hate to burst your bubble dude but this is a photocopy <laughs> of a signature like Absolutely, you should not be man. trying to sell this but yeah uh, this was definitely pen to paper at the very least Absolutely. so it's just it's the real audience, yeah so yeah you never know I'll give you 50 bucks for it all right that'll work there's that guy there's that guy There you are, sir. Good job. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Safe travels, my man. Yeah, thanks so much for meeting me. All right, the deal is done. I paid 500 for the cards and 50 for the uh, signed photo. It's actually like a tear out of a magazine. And the signatures look good to me. I might go ahead and uh, send it off to like JSA or Beckett or something like that and pay to have the signatures authenticated because it would definitely help the value. There aren't any high end, like $100 plus cards in that lot, but there's a lot of solid cards, a lot of autographs. A lot of relics, a lot of serial numbered cards, a really good variety, a ton of football, a good chunk of basketball, and a good chunk of baseball as well. I'm going to be selling all of those cards on Whatnot. I'm doing a show tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, April 24th at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be starting everything at a dollar. I'll be doing some single card lots, some two, three card lots. We'll probably end up doing uh, a bunch of just big card lots is selling a bunch at once and if you want to bid on any of them i'll put a link down below in the description for the whatnot auction if you guys have never been on whatnot it's a ton of fun even if you're not buying anything it's just kind of fun to hang out and chat i'm always answering questions on there and when you uh, use my link to sign up you'll get 15 dollars off your first purchase this video isn't sponsored by whatnot i just really enjoy the platform i've used it a lot i haven't been on there in a while just because i primarily do sports cards on there and haven't had any sports cards buys to sell on there, but now that I've got one, we're going to jump back on. Nathan, thank you again for the deal on everything. It's always a pleasure doing business with you. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.